been there. Look, he's got a big old leech. Weird poop. Burger. And into Beaver Dam. Well, hello, ladies and gentlemen. I'm out with Stinkus and Stankus, and uh, we're going to spend another night Howard, out here in the woods. Uh, the mosquitoes are really bad. We've been getting like off and on rain for a week, and this backpack here is really heavy and it's hurting my shoulders. This strap right here popped off and I can't get it back on, so I just got it kind of tied and it's like twisting these and it's digging in. Anyways, we're gonna cook up some delicious campfire food tonight over a campfire. Who would have guessed? And uh, yeah, have some fun. These guys were heading up to a spot I've been to before. Uh, gonna get on a lake. These guys are definitely gonna wanna do some swimming. Of course, we got a little bit of a late start, not too late. Not too little late, just the right amount of light. Uh, anyways, whew. so we've, I've got a big announcement to make, and that announcement is this following message. Hey guys, Monty here. I've waited my whole life for this moment, one treat at a time. I am asking for your help in becoming this year's calendar cover contest winner. Seven long years of trudging through snow, being the first mate of the sea's greatest vessel, and not being able to close my mouth. I've worked too hard to stop now. I've dealt with poopy butt mess. I've been attacked and fended off the attackers. I've weathered the storm, and I've even saved lives. But still, I have not received enough treats. So I ask you now, will you throw me a bone and vote for me? For this year's calendar cover contest winner, I'm Monty, and I approve this message. That's right. Monty is in his first ever competition to become the cover of a calendar, and we need your help to win. Um, there's only two days left for voting. Um, it ends July 31st at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. We're barely in the lead right now. And uh, yeah, votes are I think a, like a dollar and it goes to a good cause, it's for an uh, animal shelter. So it's not, you know, it's, it's a good cause. The mosquitoes are just terrible, they are just getting me. They're, pro they're getting the roots too, I think, you, you can tell. But anyways, I would really like to say, you know, Monty's never been in a competition before. I wanna one and done this thing, we wanna win this little here competition, and of course it's this photo, the one on my shirt, you know what the photo is. I'll, I'll put it up on the screen here. That's, that's what we're trying to get on the cover of this calendar. It's just the greatest photo ever. Um, but yeah, if he wins, then we'll never enter another competition with him, and he'll have won every single competition he's ever entered, statistically. But if he loses, he's lost every competition he's ever ended. So, you wanna help out, I, we would really appreciate it, and Monty, I like to think that he knows and he would appreciate it too, but who knows what's going on with the thoughts in his head. So anyways, the bugs are just eating me alive. I'm ready to get this backpack off. We've got another mile or so to go. Um, so we're gonna get cruising, get to our spot. Let's do it, boys.
Okay. Oh. Oh, that feels, that feels great. Oh, oh, geez. That was tight. All right. You know, first things first. Don't worry. Oh, don't you complain, mister. Okay. So this is our spot for the evening. I think we're going to set up the tent right here. Um, yeah. Oh, it feels so nice. And there's a nice breeze. Um, I was thinking about going further to the other side over there, but the breeze is coming right here and that's going to help a lot with these mosquitoes because they are quite bad. They are getting me. I'm debating if I want to jump in or not. I wanted to at first because I am kind of sweaty, but now I'm not so sure. It is kind of cooler out. It's like. 65 to 68 Fahrenheit ish with a nice breeze so it's not like insanely hot but it's a beautiful blue skies day we still got some sunshine <sighs> bring here boys did you steal my stick where's your stick room bring it here <laughs> if you steal Monty's then I can't alright who's getting this stick Go get it. Go get it, mister. Go get it, Monty. Go get it. Monty, go get it. Go get it. Go. Go get it, Monty. Go get the stick. Monty's not doing well with the stick anymore. I've got these new toys that uh, I throw for them in the water and they're bright orange and blue so he doesn't lose them. And now he's giving me trouble. Monty, you teeth the lies. You can't just teeth. Okay, sit down. Ready? Go get him, Monty. Go get him. Go get him, Monty. Go get him. Go get him, Monty. Go get him. Go get him, Monty. Go get it. Go. Go, Monty. Go get him, Monty. Monty, go get it. Go get it. Go. There he goes. Finally. Right, Rubes? Jeez. What a monster. First things first, let's get a little set up here. Yeah, I brought out... Sometimes I go with my reasonably sized backpack and sometimes I bring out the dry bag. But since I sometimes don't pack efficiently, I decided to throw it all in here. And, uh, well... It got really loaded up really quickly, and I just kept throwing stuff in. You know how it goes. Got the cracks. Uh, we're just gonna we're just gonna make a big old mess here. This is how we do. We need to get water. Uh, he's been a lot more like Monty with the swimming. Uh, we've been doing a lot of swimming this summer. 
Well, we, we haven't. They have been. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Can I grab the right? Hold, hold that thought. Oh, I did, okay. Whew. Anyways, yeah, we've been doing a lot of swimming and Ruger's been going out just as far as Monty. He's not always super enthused like Monty is, uh, but he still goes out there pretty far. We'll get, we'll, they'll get to do more swimming. Ah, once I'm done setting up here. Right, Rugus? Oh, Ruger. I know, if I throw it for you, though, I gotta throw it for Monty. And then he's been, just let me get set up, okay? And then I, I promise I'll throw it more. You will get to swim a whole bunch more, okay? I swear. You just, just relax. It's crazy. Monty, don't pump your brother. We've been over this. How many hours of life do we have left? Uh, judging by where the sun is, two and a half. That's based off of not much. Oh, I forgot to dang it. Yeah, Ruger loves to do that. Once, once I take him out camping like this near water, he just... You, will, you hear that little splashing? See me doing that the entire night, even into the dark. I might not actually blow them up sleeping pads because he may just be a wet mop all night. Monty will be very offended if I don't blow him up on those, so we'll see. We'll probably end up doing it anyways and just let him get it dirty. You know, this is gonna be a little Hmm, getting in and out of the tent. Got the old cap, uh, camping cot here. This thing's great. You know, say what you will, but I say it's worth the extra two and a half pounds of carrying this thing in to have a good night's sleep. I think, I fear one day I'm gonna be carrying in a battery powered blow up sleeping mattress. Because if there's one thing I want comfy wise, it's it's what I sleep. I want to just sleep like a little baby. Just a little innocent baby. Just passed out. And that's why I want my my camp cot, my cushy little pad. You can judge me if you want to for bringing out my cot, but Captain Teeny Trout showed me this thing. I laid on it one time and I was sold. I was like, I must have that. That will be mine. Right, Ruga? Right, Rugus? Rugus? These aren't sticks, Rugus. Now that I, if you, if you guys watched that video, I had the snowmobile. I'm excited to use that some more. I gotta build Monty a little platform to sit on the back so I can go further. The whole point of that thing is so that I can go uh, deeper into the woods in the winter time, you know, get like five, ten miles in and go to like lakes and stuff that I couldn't access before because it's just too far. I have a big old heavy sled and sometimes going in that far is real tough in winter. It's a lot easier if you know canoe canoeing, that's super easy. But I'd like it to open up some opportunities like that. And it also entices Mr. Captain Teeny Trout and maybe some other people to join out in winter because they all love going in the hot tent but 
not not everyone is is sold on dragging a big old heavy sled through the snow, right, Monty? With snowshoes, what do you think, Monty? What do you think? Like, yeah, it's like Archie. I like the canoe. You know, you you build me something on that snowmobile, and uh, I'll uh, I'll sit on it. I'll let you carry me around. I am your king after all. All right, pull up some sleeping pads, pound some crap, then we gotta get some firewood. And uh, then I can throw the stick for the boys here. We get a little more stick action in. Monty, Monty, listen. Monty, why do you get upset? Monty, Monty, stop. Why do you get upset whenever I blow this thing up? I just don't understand. Hey, 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 stop, Monty. I don't understand your concern. I don't understand it at all. Because this is just a, this is, Monty, this is for my sleeping. Monty, stop. in the face of the sleep pad. Ruger, Ruger would rip this apart in a second. If I gave him the okay, or I tried to battle Ruger, like I do Monty, if I targeted this guy, that thing would be popped immediately. He, uh, he likes popping stuff. Alright, I'm just gonna finish laying, throwing this crap in the tent here, and then we gotta get some firewood. See if this is any good. Feels a little like this tree snapped recently. Mm. It's definitely got your horse fly. There's dead stuff all over. Don't worry, Monty. You got it. I had to go way too far for these two pieces here. <sighs> There's just a lot of uh, blown over stuff and fresh stuff. Um, There's a couple more pieces I'm going to grab, but this will be enough. It's not a crazy amount, but it's, it's going to be enough. Mm. Is that what you want right now? Do you want me to throw the stick? Mosquitoes are crazy. All right, all right, boys. Let's do some stick session. Go get him, Monty. Go get it. Go get him, Monty. Go get him, Monty. Oh boy. <sighs> well, we got firewood, we're all set up. Time for some of that. 
Or Ruger just stole Monty's stick. Didn't even get his own. Let's see if I can get Monty. Are you Monty? There we go. Oh boy. Now I've got to enjoy this briefly before Ruger comes over and shakes all that water on me. Good boy, Rugs. Monty's gonna go up. Monty's been doing this thing where I'll take him swimming, I'll throw the, the, the toy out or the stick out, and the closest path to get back to the land is, is directly in front of me, but he just swims way out to the right. Sometimes he'll even just take a beeline straight right. All right bring it here, Roots. Bring it here. Bring it here. Come here. Got the cracks on. Something chewed through the back of my crack, like a mouse or something. First time I've ever had that happen to a crack. Monty, no. Bring it here, Monty. He is walking along the shore that way. Makes sense. Now he's going to come running over here like a bat out of hell, looking for this stick. There he 
is. Oh. Did you not bring me your stick? Do you want burgers? Go get your stick, mister. Oh, don't you yell at me. No. Go get it. No, don't you fight with me. Go get that stick. Bring it here. Go get it. Little stinkers? I'm not going to play in a monkey's game. Go get that stick. Go, go get that stick. No. No. Go get it. Bring it here, Monty. Bring it here. I just saw you have it in your mouth. I am not playing. No, go get it. Go get it. I'm, I'm serious. Monster. Bring it here, Monty. Oh my gosh. Bring it here, Monty. Bring it here. Monty? Monty, come here. Come. Listen, I know you know where that stick is. I know you know that you brought it and you avoided me. So I know you want me to throw it. So just go bring it here. It's... It's that... Oh! Let me guess. You want me to throw this for you. Don't you? Do you want me to throw it? You want me to throw it? <coughs> yes, okay. <coughs> I I just I just don't get it. I just don't get it. He wants me to throw it. He brings away everything. He has it in his mouth. He refuses to bring it back to me. Oh, Ruger, that feels great. Well, I think they've got enough swimming in. I think it's time to do a little drying off. And then let's spark up this fire and start thinking about preparing some dinner. Oh, yeah. Pretty sure this stinky doggy here understands that getting wet leads to towel drying. Come here. So he'll get wet on purple. Oh my gosh. Way more. Come here. Come here, Rooks. Come here. Oh my gosh, you're just a little monster. Oh, you're soaking. Come here. Soaking wet. You're so squirrely. Come here. I get it. You like it. All right. This is not even worth drying him off because he's going back in the water. That's a guarantee.
some birch bark. Ooh, that rock's a little rocky. I got it on the way in. See if we can get one of the legendary one strikes going. Okay. Let's pick a good side. Legendary one strike fire. Now all we gotta do is not smother it and keep it going. Should be simple enough, right? <sighs> I have only done that once, one other time. That's two times now that I've got the first strike of the fire steel. And it just lights up. It'd be quite a shame if this just went out though. I didn't really break up. Oh, it's fine. Oh, we're fine. Why, uh... Do I feel like I might have not started it? <laughs> oh jeez. If I if I if I mess up like that, I do the legendary one strike and I don't keep it going, that's uh oh no. Oh well it's still it's still burning. Alright, we're we're still okay. We're still okay. throw the stick until my arm falls off or you can't swim anymore. I know. Alright, look Rubes, I understand. It's not that I don't know what you want. I, I get it. No, I, I do fully understand. You're putting out strong signals and I'm picking them up. It's just fire. It's got a legendary one strike. Can't you be excited about that? I'm excited. He doesn't care. not burning as good, huh? I'll move this for you. I'll move that too. There you go. 
There you go, big boy. All right. We are all set up. We've got our fire going. Dog's got some swimming in. They got some hiking in. The mosquitoes aren't terrible. Knock on wood. <laughs> They're not really mauling me anymore. Usually at dusk they maul you pretty good, but it feels a little cooler out and I got the fire going. Rugs just went in the water again. But yeah, we're relaxing. I'm going to let this burn down, get some nice coals, and then we're going to start uh, working for some dinner. It's not going to be uh, very hard or complicated to set up, but we are having a good old campfire classic of a two and a half pound ribeye steak with some brussels and some potatoes. Oh yeah. It's really hard to beat a two and a half pound ribeye with brussels and potatoes. So, you know, sometimes that's always the, uh, always the question, what am I going to cook out in the woods today? Sometimes I feel like a pasta, sometimes I feel like a soup, sometimes I feel like fried pork, and sometimes I feel like a big old fat ribeye. Yeah. And that's what we're having. Now Ruger has discovered that there's frogs in the water again. You see those frogs? I always bring out two towels. I use the first towel on Monty first, then Ruger. I use the second towel on Monty first, and then Ruger. And then right before bed, Ruger likes to jump in the water. What is that? All right, can we try something? Can we try something new where you just relax? You're out here, and you swam, you hiked. Let's just relax, just, just go. Look at see Monty here. See how he's just chilling? Just chill. It's fine. Lay down, Roots. Lay down. Just lay down. Just, yeah, just leave it. It's okay. There you go. That's what I'm talking about. All right, so we are having Brussels. So let's prepare the Brussels. Now, I'm tr since I'm having two and a half pounds of steak, um, I'm attempting to go a little bit more reasonable on the portions of everything else. Now, I'm definitely gonna give the boys a good chunk of change, you know? But uh, it's still a lot of steak. And chances are I'm gonna eat the whole thing. If I had to be, if, you, if I had to be a betting man, I would say that that, that steak is, is going to be destroyed by the three of us. And I will be the uh, number one position for most steak consumed because they'll, they'll probably, if I gave them a pound or a half pound of steak each, they'd still throw up. That's a lot of steak for a dog. Oh, while we're preparing dinner, I might, might as well do a quick shout out to Layla. If you guys remember Layla, that's Captain Teeny Trout's dog. And we often babysit her when he's got stuff to do and doesn't want to leave her at the house. And she is a dang raccoon. She is a monster. 
she used to, she she is just an expert at getting up on the counters and grabbing dishes and uh, yeah pulling them down. Captain Teeny Trout has said that she's pulled an entire cast iron 10 inch skillet from the counter and dragged it to her her spot where she lays in the house and licked it clean. So that's that's the thing. Anyways, we're watching her and I don't got any potatoes to, I'm doing the little fingerling potatoes. These things are delicious. Uh, we're gonna just cook them whole like that. I love these things. I, I haven't really used them before, but I went out with my brother and me and Funk were cooking them a couple times and they're delicious. Anyways, back to Layla. Oh, what has she done at my house? She, she uh, got a hold of a bag of dog treats, ate the whole thing. Uh, most recently, we tried to Layla proof our house this time. This was like a few days ago. And since we moved all the treats and everything she could get to, in defiance, Layla found Ruger's bin of his food. It's like a black garbage bag with a lid. And she decided to knock the entire garbage can full of food over and licked it clean. So then we're like, okay, we're not gonna feed her for like a like three meals because it, there it wasn't full, luckily, but there was at least like four or five cups of food. So we thought we completely layla proof the house and we leave for maybe 15, 20 minutes. And she had discovered how to pull the garbage can. Or we have one of those garbage cans that slides into a counter. She pulled it open and got into the garbage. She is a just lawless Layla certified raccoon. <sighs> she just knows how to get everything. So we're now, next time we watch her, I think we're going to get, we're going to have to first go through, make sure there's no dishes anywhere, no scraps of anything. We're going to have to get a lock on the garbage can. Maybe we should even think about somehow securing our pantry door. Like I wouldn't put a pastor to be able to turn a handle of a door and I mean she's a monster but she is she's she's great other than her little uh just fearlessness with getting food she's great okay for our brussels we are gonna add a little salt not too much salt not too little salt just the right amount of salt. Then we're gonna add some black pepper. All right, and then we've got some olive oil. Keep them from sticking. Get a little drizzle of that. I don't know if I brought enough olive oil. Worst case scenario, we'll have some sticking in the pan, but. That's okay, because we've also got to use it for our little fingerling potatoes. We're gonna copy what we just did. Go with some salt, not too much salt, not too little salt, just the right amount of salt. And then some black pepper. That was a little heavy on the black pepper. And then olive oil. And we definitely don't have enough olive oil but we're just gonna have to make do. Maybe I'll take a piece of fat off the steak and put it in with each of these to get some extra grease. Yeah, that sounds pretty nice. Okay, anyway, so we've got everything prepared. All we've gotta do is wait for our steak to thaw because apparently uh, like four hours and 70 degrees or 60 degrees isn't enough to thaw a steak. So we're kind of waiting on that to thaw and then we're getting to cooking.
Oh, I see it, boy. I see ya. I see what you're doing. Just playing that water constantly. I always feel terrible for Monty. Because the mosquitoes, look at that. There's one right by his eye. They always just get him on the bridge of his big, long nose. Oh, now you're out. Now you got blood all over Monty. They always get you on your little snoot. I think he's searching for frogs or something. But he has been in that water the whole time. There was a point where I'd maybe ask him to stop, but I gave up on that. Now I just let him do what he wants. There's no point, he's gonna do it anyways. All right, Monty, come here. Come here. He's pretty crazy to get in that water, huh? It's time to start cooking over this bad boy. That means we'll take no roofs. We're gonna make the main fire off this old this thing. Frozen block. We'll keep the fire going on the side here. Alright. We've got the great great 2.0. Alright, so our steak, let's see, we're gonna get the Brussels going on here, the potatoes, may have need a little more room on this. Theirs is just gonna kinda go off on the side here. That looks sturdy enough. The beautiful, the delicious, the 2.5 pound ribeye steak with a bone in. Now what we're gonna do is, since it's frozen, we're gonna let that get a little warmed up on each side and then we're gonna add in our seasoning. We don't want to, uh, I put it on there when it's frozen before and it doesn't work out as good, so. We're gonna just let that get warmed up on each side and then we're gonna move everything around. We just need to get that, you know, a little juicy, a little juicy on the outside. We're just trying to get... Oh, that's a hot fire. Oh no. Our steak is sticking. Oh no! Oh jeez! Ha! Ah. All right, this stuff has to come off. This is this is about to get dangerous. Oh come on! Don't do this to me. Oh come on! Oh, so hot, jeez. Oh, oh, that's so hot. Oh. Okay, put the, put the tater back on here. 
as a hot fire. <gasps> it's so hot, jeez. Oh, I can't even explain how hot it is. You'd think that the fire with the ripping cold, it would just be reasonable, but it's so hot. All right, we can season this side with the one, the only, the Montreal steak seasoning. that there let it soak into that that there uh, fat you know a lot of people have asked me how to cook over a fire I, because I do it all the time and the, the, the true key is is to have perfectly even heat over your whole cooking space just like a kitchen see how we have the flames over here raging on and just low coals over here it's perfectly even across the whole platform so it makes it very easy to cook that's it <clears throat> sorry monty i farted oh that's hot ah. put these over here for a minute are gonna get just just destroyed all right we're gonna switch places this but if I'm being perfectly honest the key is to just watch your food constantly and rotate things and use a big enough grate that you don't have to that's not gonna work oh it's so hot you know what I don't have any advice for you I'm sorry oh Oh, jeez. We gotta get this thing flipped. Oh no, the grate is, is the great grate is, the steak is sticking. It's so hot! Come on! Everything's falling apart! Oh, it's so hot! <sighs> okay, alright. Emergency mode. What's going on here? See, the trick to perfectly cooking is to... <sighs> is to have a stable grate. Oh, I am burning my hair off on my fingers. Knuckles are on fire. All right, we'll have a little more Montreal steak seasoning to this side because it is the greatest spice known to man. If you had to choose one spice to go on everything and be just forever Montreal steak, there's no, there's no adjusting it. You can copy it, you can't beat it. It's just, it's just fact. Ooh. Mm. Nice and slow. That's never a problem. Too, too hot can be a problem. I'll bring some extra coals. The only thing I'm worried about right now is the boys' sweet potato. It's not boiling yet. 
it'll get there now that we kind of got a flame going but Monty is well Monty's being Monty and uh, look at those little teefers look at that dopey little face Monty do you want uh, do you wanna are you hungry hey Monty do you wanna Oh, that's not even his teepers, that's his tongue sticking out. Do you want to eat? Are you hungry? Would you like a treat? Do you want to... Do you want to go home? No, you don't want to go home. Look at his little tongue sticking out. Hey, Monty. Do you want to... Do you want to eat some steak? You hungry for some steak? Why do your tongue stick it out? All right, now we gotta flip this bad boy. Oh, okay, get that side cooking a little bit more. Definitely still plenty tender. Now the thing with the, the amount of space I've got on this grill, or this grate, um, it's not quite enough. I would like a little more space, but that's what happens when you choose to bring out the smaller grate. It's fine. Now one thing about my veggies, I like crispy veggies. Um, some people like, you know, a little softer. I like them to have a bite. I do not like mushy soft veggies. I like them to, so I'd rather these be undercooked than overcooked. Potatoes, those can be soft. I don't like hard potatoes. But these I'm trying to cook as slow as possible. We are getting, we're, we're moving along here. Uh, I'm thinking like within 10 minutes of eating, because this is, this definitely needs, I'm going to have to move this over here in a second. I'm just going to give it another minute because there's some good coals under these potatoes. I just don't want these to be, let's give them a little check. They're getting soft. We just don't want them to be undercooked. Flip this thing one more time. Oh. Oh, look at that glistening. Ooh, we are getting there. We're getting close. Mm. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Boy, sweet potatoes are boiling. These are cooking. We are getting close. Very close. I think the steak, it's pretty close to being perfect. Might be still a little rare in the middle. We need to get some heat over that center. The, this part is definitely the outside is done, but this is this is one of the things with cooking a frozen steak over a campfire. It's a little more tricky to get uh, it evenly perfect. We're gonna we're gonna do our best as long as she's pink. We're gonna be fine. Last flip of the steak, and then it's time to prepare the boys. Oh yeah, oh there we go. Nice, nice char right at the end. All right, we're preparing the boys, and then by the time we're done preparing the boys, everything's gonna be done and perfect and ready. Make sure to portion out their food accordingly with how much other stuff they're getting. Already mangled up Monty's mush. Okay. Now 
we just wait on the steak. Okay, all right, it's time to get the steak, divvy it up for everyone, and then feast. Ideally, this will be cooked to perfection, but as it goes sometimes with cooking over a campfire, you don't really know until you start cutting in. Which is a little, little rare right there. Oh, nice and pink. It's a little, little more cooked than I'd like it to be, but still pink. Come fly. Let's just. Okay, we're just gonna take a little sample here, quick. Ooh. Mmm. Okay. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Get the boys. Oh, yeah. Get this fat off this bone. You know what, because, because they're the bestest boys in the world, we're gonna give them a little, a little of the good stuff. Now normally I wouldn't cook it this much, but I was a little worried about the frozenness, so. That needs to go there. Okay, get a little of this, this fat here. You know what, that's actually perfect. Oh, that's perfect. <laughs> yeah, okay. What am I worried about? That is delicious. A little fat there. Okay. It is time to feast. Let's eat. Oh yeah. It's Ruger's, that's Monty's, that's mine. That delicious, perfect color. You guys ready to eat? You hungry? You want some food? Okay, let's eat, boys. All right, boys. I know you've worked extra hard for this, as have I. We've all done our parts. You know, Monty, you were there the whole the whole cooking process. You were watching me, making sure I didn't screw it up. I appreciate that, Ruger. You were checking for danger in the water for frogs, and I was just tending the food. You know, you guys did most of it. So, go ahead. Oh yeah. This, this is gonna be a thing of beauty right here. Oh, we've got Brussels. We've got potatoes. We've got a little bit of our last brewski. All right, let's go with potato. Mm -hmm. Let's go with a brussel. Mm -hmm. And now,
Welcome to Agree Rugs. Are you listening? Oh, you just burp at me? You listen here, mister. You got your normal dinner portion. Plus a half a sweet potato. Plus a bunch of steak. There's no way you need more. I know for a fact, if I give you more, you will throw it up. And then try to eat that vomit, and that's disgusting. You don't want to see that. You don't need that. Mm -mm. Don't let them fool ya. Mm -mm. Not today, my friends. Super, the best part of the ribeye, I gave it to you guys. So my conscience is clear. Once I gave you guys this, no more. Deal? And you have to do no begging. That's the price. No begging. No begging. No begging. No begging. No begging. That's not really what I was talking about but all right you don't need to see any of this any more of it um, the moon's out the frogs are making noise I'm gonna finish this feast in with the light off and the camera off and just uh is that a spider that is a spider hey steve why are you coming right to my face he's right here and i was crawling up anyways yeah i'm gonna enjoy my meal finish it up So I'll check back in with you guys. Uh, Probably before bed. Okay, stinky doggies. Come in. Oh, come on, Monty. Come on, Monty. Monty, come here. Monty, before Ruger takes up all the space and gets it all muddy. Come on, Monty. Monty, come on. Come here, Monty. There you go. You gotta fight for your space. This is a dog, comfort dog world. Ruger, up here. There you go. Monty, Monty settled in quick. Okay, ladies and gentlemen. I smashed all that minus two extra bites for the boys, and I'll be honest, they both got a, one of those little potatoes because I, I just couldn't, I couldn't eat another bite. I just couldn't do it. It was too much. It was two potatoes too much. If it was all steak, they're, they're, I, I, I mean, I destroyed the steak. I didn't want to give them the extra bites I gave them. But when it got down to it, I finished all the Brussels, finished all the steak. There's just two potatoes too many. Oh, mosquitoes are getting in here now. All right. Well, with the, I just saw a mosquito fly in, so uh, that's going to be that. Uh, can you even see me? Is this my, is my face? Okay, you can see me. I'm full. I'm tired. I'm satisfied, so now the mosquitoes are good, dude. I'm gonna 
Show off the camera, we're gonna go to bed. I'll catch you guys in the morning. Good night, everybody. Oh, you're so mighty, you just sweat. Right, lay down, lay down, lay down, lay down, lay down, okay. Hey, simmer down, simmer down. <laughs> oh, you're so happy to be alive. Oh, oh good morning. Animal needs to be unleashed. Go ahead, Monty. Go ahead. Oh. Oh. As a Wet, muddy sleeping pad. Oh, heaven to Betsy. <sighs> it looks pretty cool out there. We're getting up a little earlier than normal. Because I want to put this one out today. So, <sighs> getting up a little early. We got smoke on the water, fire in the sky. Well, not fire in the sky yet, but that's close. That's real dewy. I slept pretty good though. The boy slept pretty good. Oh. I can feel it. A poop brewing. I don't know if I'll I'll crank it up before we leave, but it's coming. So anyways, uh I'm gonna slowly get packed up here and uh we're gonna get up. I'm gonna set up this camera on this lake here because it looks pretty neat. So, yeah, let's do it. Go! Stick Monty, you sure you want to go out there like him? Where I'll get you one. Is that what you wanted all night, Rugs? You just wanted to go back in the water, huh? Why don't we give you what you want? You're, now you're much cleaner than you were a minute ago. Get it, Rugs. <laughs> Go get it, Monty. Go get it, Monty. Ah!
Go get it, Go get it, Ruth. Go get it. Go get it, Monty. Go get it. Go get it, Monty. Go get it, Monty. Go get it, Monty. Go get it. Go get it. Ruger, go get it. I love Ruger. No Rugs. Get it, Rugs. Go get it, Rugs. Come on. Hey. Go get it. Right there, Rugs. Get it. Get it. Go get it, Rugs. Go get it, Rugs. Go get it. Get it, Rugs. Go get it. Yeah, you don't want to go swimming? <laughs> go get it. If you want to, you seem like you want it. Go get it, Monty. Go get it, Monty. Go get it. I don't think Monty wants to go swimming this morning. Come here. Do you not want to go swimming? You don't seem like you're, you're looking to go swimming. Monty. You swat that stick at me. Hey, give it here. Give it here. Oh, he's, he's try. He tries to hit me. He knows. Give it. Give it. Give it. You stinker. Give me that stick. Hey, give it here. Give it here. Give me the stick. Put it in my hand. Hey! Give me that stick. Give me that stick. Give me that stick. Give, 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 give it here. Ow! Ah, Monty. Ah! Monty genuinely tries to hit my hand with the stick. He doesn't do it very hard. Sometimes he's he's thwat me before, but I think you know I hit him with a sleeping pad, so he's genuinely trying to go whack, whack. That crazy pants. Built the boys water in the tent. So now I've just got to pack up the rest of this stuff, put away that there camera. We're going to switch to GoPro for the walkout, so I'll have to carry it. And uh, yeah, we're getting there. So I'm going to put that camera away and we're going to pack the rest of this up quick. Get it, no rooms, 
No, Rugs, no. Rugs, no! <sighs> you went for the wrong one. Oh well. Oh well. <sighs> Okie dokes. We are packed up and ready to hike on out of here. Um, actually, let me tie this thing on. At least helps a little bit. There it is. It makes these dig into my shoulders. My little clip here, like I said, broke. But this at least, if you don't have this chest strap, it just pulls back. Still not the best, but it'll work. Anyways, that was a delicious little meal last night over a campfire, and we had a little fun last night. The boys are excited. The mosquitoes are coming out. They had a good time. I had a good time. So make sure, if you're willing to help us and vote for Monty for the calendar cover with that picture, you got today and tomorrow till 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, July 31st. That's when it ends. I have a feeling there's going to be like a bidding war right at the end, so I want to extend our lead. We're going to be standing by to help out as well, in case it gets real close. We might just, uh, you know, give us that, I might just put down the extra boost. We'll see how it gets though. But anyways, uh, that's it. We got a few miles to hike out of here, and then I'm going to edit this up and get this out today at some point. So, as always, if you like the video, hit the like button. If you want to see more stuff like this, hit the subscribe button, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Let's go, boys.